Hey, what's going on, guys? Painting a smile on my face today. How's it going? Yay! Let's all paint smiles on our face every day in America. But, no, being sarcastic, y'all, it's a... It's a police state that we stay in with the clowns being protected by the Just Us system and malicious prosecution in Georgia means no remedy at this point unless you get some attorney that I haven't contacted yet because I contact anybody that deals with malicious prosecution on the very first page of Google. I've called every single one of them in the state of Georgia, okay? They don't do anything. They they will not accept your case. Um, they're never interested. They're only interested if you're about to die or if, you know, you basically got hurt severely or some way. I mean, they're not, they don't want to go against the officers. They're not going to go prosecute or bring to justice the ones that are causing the injustice, claiming to be just us. And that's what they are. They, they straight up all in your face say that blue lives matter. They run around with stickers on their cars so that you know who they are. You know, you got a little blue blue line. Oh, you're special. You need to make sure that the officers know that who they're pulling over is somebody like themselves, right? See, this is a, it's a game, okay? That's all this shit is. Uh, pardon my language, but I'll tell you what. When you deal with stuff like this every day, every day you wake up, you got to realize that you have a, a stack of malicious prosecutions against yourself. Me, okay? And why is that? Because my family did not have any clue or were completely negligent, you know, and or because you got multiple members of my family, okay? I've got, I don't have just... I don't have, I'm not a, uh, a product of a single mother, okay? I've got a mother and father who stuck together, okay, this whole time that I've been around. And I've got both sides of their family, okay? So I don't just have one person, I don't, I can't claim that I couldn't get any help from anybody because I'm surrounded by people. However, my point is, is that you still don't get help. Okay, these people are either scared to go against the officers, they don't want a bad name for themselves, all this crap. It's not a bad name, it's an honorable name. You would be a hero if you stood up against these people. You're a scumbag if you don't. So, I mean, at this point, I just have to call people out because I hear nobody talking about this stuff. You hear very few cases getting handled in the state of Georgia because I know from the inside out that the indigent don't get help. They do not get assistance. The only reason you're hearing me being an ambassador for the indigent and innocent at the same time is because of what I just told you. Because my parents did stay together, you know. I mean, I can say that, but that doesn't mean that you just get, I got just help regardless of anything. These people, you know, my family members, will chastise your family members will chastise you okay if you ever get accused of any of this unless you know of course you're you're already poor i mean you're already indigent because your family's poor you know my family's not poor okay they do have the ability to do many things my collectively they could do a whole lot but they don't and a lot of your families are out there like the same way and i'm calling them out because you don't get anywhere. When you don't stick together, you get nowhere. You're just gonna get called out for being scumbags. I mean, that's just what you are. You're gonna try to make sure you don't help the one that needs help in the family because you're blatantly, obviously, uh, showing who you are. You know, I wanna tell you, that's why this does involve malicious prosecution because once an officer under color of law or anybody comes at you, okay, out there, which, you know, you might be like, well, they'll never come after me because of whatever. No, that's not true. That's not true. I've had instances where I came from a place, I was playing cards and I left the guy's house, okay? I get followed by officers just because I played cards, okay? I'm at this guy's house playing cards. I leave the house, I get, I get followed, I get pulled over illegally. And what does this son of a bitch do? It's a group of them once again from Lowndes County. I mean, this is a long time ago, y'all. You know how many times I've been pulled over by these people? 
Once they think they can do it one time, they keep doing it, and I have record to prove it, damn it. And I'm tired of you people out there that don't think this is a big deal. This is a huge deal because this is not just happening to me. And if you think you're just going to have slavery all day, that's what you're going to do. Well, you're going to get somewhere with that. You're not going to get anywhere. The only thing these people want to do in the jail is not help you. They want to get out and hurt you. And they want to get out and they, they're starting gangs in the jail. Okay? That's what they're doing. They're not trying to get out and say, hey, I'm going to, you know, I'm going to produce something for these people who threw me in here because I feel so guilty about what I did. No. No, 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 they don't feel guilty because they're not even in it. They're not even guilty at all. They're innocent and they have no business being in there. I'm telling you, it's real like that, okay? I was in there, I didn't do a damn thing and I, I could have been in there multiple times. As a young person, you end up pleading to these bastards because they sit there and scare the shit out of you, okay? It's not a beautiful day every day when you wake up knowing malicious prosecutions go on every day, every day. Slamming the hammer down every single time. Bam. Innocent, but guilty. Innocent, but guilty. Every fucking time. And I'm telling you, it goes on every day, but you don't care. So, hey, I don't care about you either, really. Right? Because if you don't give a shit about other people, indigent people who are hurt right now, innocent right now, I guarantee you there's innocent people in there and have even been murdered in there. Okay? You don't care about that. I don't give a shit about you either. Okay? Just know that. You live for you, I live for me, okay? That's what it's all about, being a Satanist in this world, right? Because you people are not Christians out there. You're not Christian, you're not a Catholic, you're not anybody because you don't care about anything. You guys don't give a damn about anything, I'm telling you. I'm tired of it, y'all. That's why I come out here. I come out here so I can look at something beautiful and take a breath of fresh air. I'm inside and the, all I see, every case I see, every person I call, every attorney I call, Every one of them has nothing, okay? You don't see, just go look for yourself. Go try to find, in the state of Georgia, somebody who handles criminal and civil rights violations. Go find it. It doesn't exist. It almost does not exist, okay? That is why it is going unchecked. And please forgive me if I get upset with you. Please forgive me, okay? Because I'm upset with everybody. I'm upset with everything that goes on in this United States of America. It's nothing but a big joke right now. And people are getting turned over. We got, obviously we've got to shut down the government. Every, what, every presidency now, we're gonna shut down the government until what? Until the people I'm talking about get dealt with. That's what. That's why you don't have any money. Your money is sucked up in the court system. You have nothing. Every Okay. It says we're live. <laughs> YouTube has a serious interruption whenever a call comes in. On Facebook, when a call comes in, it doesn't interrupt for like 10 seconds. It just, it instantly goes back, okay? So you got all the, I'm trying all these apps. I'm trying all these platforms. It's all, I'm a tech person. Yes, I do care about stuff technology wise this is an iphone 10 by the way in case you were wondering the beautiful depth and we'll go this way with it the megapixels and look how the zoom goes on it and i've had people tell me they would never get an iphone 10 and all this stuff all right whatever man i'm sick of you people all you do is that you basically say nothing all damn day and do nothing because what i'm talking about is all that matters to you okay you don't, whether you know it or not, it doesn't matter if you know it. <laughs> you're under attack, okay? Every one of you are under attack. What is this guy spraying all over the place? You know, I mean, it's just, it, I mean, really, it doesn't matter where you damn look, there's some garbage to look at, like trash on the, I mean, it's just, and it came from a tree and you had to, you had to smash the tree off a whole damn forest. God, God forbid you give a shit about the animals because they're just little nothings, right? I mean, that's what these people, the worst disgusting people on the face of the earth come from South Georgia, okay? And the dirty South. That's where they come from. But there's a lot of disgusting people everywhere, right? Because they don't care about anything. Like I said, 
I am coming to the point where I know that not one person cares about their own freedom, their own liberties, therefore they don't deserve any freedom or liberties. They deserve the same hell that they are trying to dish out. That's what's gonna come to these people that you're around. You're surrounded by people who are supporting and propping up a system of illegitimate, uh, just like I said, malicious prosecutions going on over and over again. There's a voicemail, thank God, or somebody, but I'm gonna call them back. But I'm telling you, you don't really get any reprieve, okay? So far that I've seen. I don't know any friends of mine that have been through this system, that have had this kind of stuff go on, that they got something uh, happened out of it to where they were able to get anything back. I mean, but a lot of my so-called friends, you know, <laughs> are just that, okay? Because I've had co-defendants, quote unquote. That's how this crap starts. I wanna make sure you understand how a malicious prosecution actually starts. I'm trying to get rid of the notification for voicemail. Um, it starts with somebody being terrorized, somebody being threatened, somebody being threatened and, and saying, okay, whether or not you plead to something or whether or not that you are uh, involved with, like I said, being around somebody, okay, who has been threatened by these officers. They say, hey, if you don't give me a name of somebody, I've had it happen to me. When I told you about the time when I got pulled over, when I just left the guy's house for playing cards, yes, it was the black part of town. You wanna call it black part of town. I'm just so sick of this shit. You should never have to say that. You should never have to have a part of town that's African-American. However, that's the case, okay? That's where you live in the, the United States of America, okay? That's where you live. But whenever you leave these predominantly African-American, black, whatever the hell you wanna call these people with darker skin than yours or the same color, I mean, it's like, I, I don't even know, I mean, I just, you people are insane. I mean, you just, you leave this, I leave this guy's house playing cards from a predominantly black part of town. I can't even get it out because I'm so pissed off about it. I'm sick of it. And I get pulled over, harassed for no damn reason. What did he say my seatbelt wasn't on? I mean, just nonstop. I think I can go back and find that. I found something in there with a seatbelt violation or something. I went back and did a violence of police report on myself. You know how many times I've been pulled over and harassed by these people? There's a hundred thousand plus people in the county and me, just me alone, okay, has been targeted multiple times. I don't care if it's traffic. It always starts with some traffic crap. That's said their reason to justify everything. They have no proof at all. To me, I want to take every stinking track. You have no proof that anybody's ever done anything wrong, ever, especially with me. I mean, I can just bet that you have no evidence on anybody else either. I mean, you almost have nothing. And these people ran through the system because they're pleading under duress. They're pleading to get the hell out of some facility that doesn't offer vitamin C. Can you imagine being in a facility that doesn't offer vitamin C and you want to stand for that? You're, you're a good person. You're upright. You want to support law enforcement? Ooh, yeah. Yeah, 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 they're gonna form gangs against you, okay? You're an enemy. You support tyranny. You support destruction of the entire United States. I mean, this is what it is, y'all. I don't care about government. The government needs to shut the hell down. It needs to, but oh, just conveniently during my case, it wants to shut down. I mean, I mean, go ahead, yeah, go ahead, whatever. I mean, you guys, it doesn't mean anything. What the hell does a government shutdown mean? That we're gonna print more money out of like <laughs> secretly, you know, just out of the blue, no accountability whatsoever. How many dollars are floating around right now? Do we even have any clue? You have any idea? You don't have any clue because there's dollars that have been in existence that you don't even know about. I mean, you've, they've all been printed. Some have burnt. Some might be at the bottom of the sea. They're just gonna print until it reaches the sky and there's no more. To, there's nowhere else to go. I mean, you, you've, you've built all, you've taken all the resources and you've just completely wasted them. And like I said, you've got a prison system, a whole entire prison system, because you know that's what it is. I've never went to prison, okay? 
I've only went to the jail with these people. So many times you'd be like, how in the hell did you not go to prison? Because it's all been BS. It's all been a, a, some stipulation of probation or, you know, that I did, that was not even really there in the first place. Like, for instance, I get taken, I get arrested. So you get a re-arrest. As soon as they get a chance, they do it. They don't care. They do not treat people like they're real. They are not real people. They're only numbers and they are slave labor. That is it. That's all it boils down to. So like I said, you don't care about these people. They're not going to care about you. Just remember, every day you wake up, there's somebody that wants to kill you. Okay? There's somebody that can't stand you. Because that's what happens. That's what damn happens. You, you, get, you wake up to a gang. Okay? I'm just so sick of it, man. I, I'm just... I got to call people out on the inside, the outside, every damn one of you. If, I, if you were in the inside of a jail, illegally, okay, you got arrested and targeted illegal. You get in there, you're in there, and you find out it's a torture chamber. Then all of a sudden you get out and you have the ability to try to call and call and call when you didn't have the ability to call anybody. And you couldn't get help from anybody. And you couldn't go look up the law. And you couldn't file anything. And you can't get a call. Unless you're completely broke on the books, which means that you have nothing. It means you can't even, you might have like 25 cents and I'll be like, oh, well you got money on the books. I'm telling you, I don't care about not one of you out there right now. Just get it through your damn head. I don't care if you view this and you don't care about this. Just remember, I don't give a goddamn about you either. And I hope the worst for you, and I hope everything that you want comes to life. All the hell on earth that you want, and everything you want, I hope it comes right on to you. Just like you need it to, just like you want it to, just like you pray for it to. I mean, you just, it just doesn't end, y'all. I'm done. I'm done talking about it. Malicious prosecution, just so you know, it drives somebody very frustrated, very upset. You have to basically constantly deal with trying to talk to an attorney who's going to turn you down. You tell them your case over and over and over again. You tell them who's who's the attorneys you're trying to sue. Oh, so you could know that. Maybe you can go relay the message for a for a buck or two. <laughs> I mean, these people are just the most conniving, disgusting people on the face of the earth. So, just know that. Every day I wake up, that's exactly what I think about you out there. So, hey, good luck with that. I'm, I'm, I wish you the best with everything you do. I want you, I want you to make the world great again, make everything beautiful. Since you want to talk shit about Trump all day, and you want to say that making America great again doesn't even make any sense. Good. Go ahead and show me what you what you got going on. Go ahead and show me what you got going on. Because I don't see it. I do not see it. I see a bunch of clowns hiding all damn day. Bye.